I've been in contact with other restaurants in the area, um, other restaurants around the state going, all right, hey, what are the ideas? For the longest time uh, during the thing is we had a tent outside. It's like, hey, we're gonna be visible. We're gonna make sure it's known. And when the heat started coming, it's like, huh, people don't wanna go outside. So we, we switched to a couple of chairs and an umbrella. It's, it's about the visibility so people could drive by and go, oh, they are there, great. COVID hit, it's like, oh, what do we do? How do we, how do we keep our name out there, but at the same time, keep the attitude of who can we help? So I had, once again, our great customers were going, hey, let me give you some money so you can go feed the police department. I, uh, I did all three fire stations in Coco plus the Brevard County fire station, um, the 911 center for Brevard County ops, um, Sheriff's Department up, uh, I want to say towards Titusville, uh, Brevard Health Alliance, doctor's offices, um, uh, COVID lab testing center down in Melbourne. It was just like, hey, who can we help? Who can we reach out to show our appreciation? And it really, half of it wasn't even in Coco. It's like, we went out to Melbourne. We went over to Titusville. You know, it's like, it's a community. And fortunately, Everybody's been able to keep working, keep making money. So when we started ramping back up, we already had the staff um, and and the hours for them. And well, we're open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day right now. It's kind of hard to tell what, when we're going to be busy and all. We're doing probably 40 to 50 percent in to-go sales still. You know, the big conversation the past couple weeks is, oh, what's going to happen with football starts? And my only answer is. I have no idea. We will have the package. We're still in the process. Uh, we're trying to get the hoods replaced. Um, we're working with a company to get that uh, a lot more involved than I thought. But after 18 plus years, we uh, ripped out the green tile and went with a nice wood laminate. Uh, we redid all the floors behind the bar and through the kitchen. We refinished the bar top. You know, I've been dealing with the city of Coco for uh, 14 years now or thereabouts. Um, overall, it's a great working relationship. Um, you know, it's like even, even when I make the phone calls, it's, you know, it's not like, hey, where is this? Why isn't this done? It's like, hey, what's happening? Hey, any way you can help me out? And, you know, he, here's what I'm trying to do and, and kind of talk to them like they're people and not like they're some government entity and they don't care <laughs> because they're dealing with enough people talking to them like that. So the nicer you are, the nicer they're going to be to help you get through. <laughs> Almost any successful small restaurant is going to be based on the customers and, and repeat customers. I've learned a lot is you've got to give back to, to get them to come. Support the people that support you.